So today we got into a stage of uh, the new build. It is pretty much ready to the ground and uh, the stain. So it is almost almost ready to go. And that was the pretty much the one more day today. So meanwhile, I'd like to talk more of uh, the last last violin I had. So I did start this one about three years ago, and it, uh, her name is the Heartbreaker. And there's a little little story story behind it. it it's supposed to have been a uh, a violin for my. Uh, my girl at the time. What I did for this one is it's the same model what my uh, new violin is going to be and uh, what I did for the neck is both both run carbon graphite uh, reinforcement in there what allows me to make it slightly thinner as a neck and it moves a little bit less between year and if you play outside of your comfort zones and your own country it will travel a little easier than uh, the regular builds. Also, the, uh, the setup in itself is one of my signature setups. So I get a, uh, I call it momentum mod, where I, I put a little, little tech inside the bridge. It allows it to gather a little bit more volume. And the same thing at the sound post. I believe this one, this one has a uh, the latest Poly XR 3.4, so it just adds up a little bit more volume, and I can change the sound by playing with the densities and materials. I can change the the frequencies what goes in, and I don't need to exchange the whole change the build itself to try different sounds. So. For me, that is kind of an extra, extra feature for this one. The violin runs with uh, snake wood fittings and, uh, and the strings. I, I just started trying a new, new set of strings. So this one, I think, runs with the amber, amber set by, uh, I think it's a terrestrial made. For design, for the violin itself, was a little flatter, flatter arching on the top to get more of a concert instrument style sound, more penetration and brighter sound to counter the, the space it's playing. So, a little flatter and bigger F hole style on the top, and then for the back, also slightly flatter, flatter design, but little little deeper right in the middle to counter the, the flatness on the top so for me if you put the top flatter that always gives you more volume but there's always drawbacks how flat you can go or how how much arching you put so this one was designed for more more for soloist and it it did work out pretty well so on the, the new one actually I got opposite so a little bit more arching on the top a little fatter back so almost like a mirror mirror image and what I'm trying to get on this violin is more into chamber music and deeper sounding a sort of more smooth smooth violin so pretty much contrast to the last one and I like to like to play around a little bit so when I know both styles more more intimate then next ones are kind of variations so that's one of the reasons I stick into one model um, there's so many things I can change on the build itself to make it sound different or the characteristics so um, time will tell but I have a good good feeling on the, on the violin itself also for the, the, the last violin it's going to be in sale so if there is anyone who might be interested to try uh, I welcome that with full, full my heart so thank you